Tellier there champs and welcome to the show. Today I'm very excited. I don't usually get excited over hard drives, but this hard drive turned my floppy into a solid state within a matter of seconds. <laughs> this is the WD Gold hard drive. Now I know some of you think I'm crazy getting excited over a hard drive, but come on, this is gold, gold. I'm just having thoughts of gold member running through my head. And this is basically the best hard drive on the planet or at least the best hard drive WD make, that's for sure. And it costs as much as gold as well. It, it's really expensive. I'll get the cost later, but it's very expensive. Now you can get these up to 10 terabytes, I believe. This one here is an eight terabyte model. It has a whopping 128 megabytes of cache. That's a huge amount of cache. And you can get up to 256 megabytes of cache there. Now, before this come out, the best drives you could get from WD were the RE, the RAID Enterprise drives. And then one below that, the best consumer drive you could get was the WD Black. Now, most hardcore enthusiasts ended up getting the WD RE because it was just the best hard drive you could get from WD. And it's better than the Black hard drive, even though the Black is marketed to creative professionals, gamers, and so on. The actual WDRE is an actual better drive. It lasts longer, has more technologies in it, and compared to the black, the WD Raider Enterprise drive didn't cost that much more. But this one costs significantly more than the WD Black. It is expensive. It nearly cost as much as gold. We're talking, this hard drive here is $850 Australian. And I think it's around $600 US. So you're probably thinking about £500 or something like that for an 8 terabyte hard drive. Now, 8 terabyte hard drives are expensive anyway. But this is another level of expense here. $850 Australian. $600 US, that's insane. It's a hard drive. It costs as much as nearly a GTX 1080 or 1070, but with good reason. Now, this hard drive is not for consumers. Well, it's not marketed to consumers. Now, enthusiasts will probably end up buying these gold hard drives. I haven't seen many of them on YouTube or anything. I don't think I've seen any videos of the WD gold drives reviewing them or putting them in system builds. So you get an exclusive first here. Now, they're made for data centers, so massive data center servers stuff like that or you could even put them in your nas if you want the best hard drive for your nas you could put these in there and just enthusiasts if they want the best hard drive this is the one you would get now do i recommend you get these it doesn't make sense bang for buck wise you're better off with a raid enterprise a wd re drive than this because with the wd raid enterprise you get pretty much most of the things you get in this hard drive although this is rated for a longer life and it is their best drive so this is designed to handle 550 terabytes per year in a 24-7 365 environment now we're talking heat we're talking noise vibration they're built for this sort of thing and it actually has RAF technology which is basically means this will still work in environments where there's lots of vibration now a wd black doesn't have that sort of technology wd raid enterprise does but typically you're thinking 550 terabytes per year that is enormous you would probably never do that in your lifetime on a single hard drive and i believe the industry standard for desktop hard drives like the wd black is around 55 terabytes per year so it's almost 10 times the amount of data per year this can handle reads and writes and it's rated at 2.5 million hours mean time between failure now that is a massive amount of time please if you're a math genius please leave a comment on how many years that is i believe it's over 200 years so this hard drive here is rated to last longer than your lifetime and basically, if this hard drive doesn't die within the first three months, which is typically where hard drives fail, they call it infant mortality. Basically, the failure rates after that are very small. Like this thing will last you a lifetime. And compared to, say, the WD Black, which is the best consumer drive for WD make, that is rated to 1.2 million hours mean time between failure. So this is more than double the WD Black for its mean time between failure rating. So you know that if you buy this hard drive, it'll last well past the life of your computers or many computers you build over the next coming 10 years. You also get a dual actuator in the WD Gold, which basically means that the head is more precise. What I mean by the head here is this thing here, the head, the way it's controlled, 
it's actually much more precise than say a consumer drive so you're going to get much less read errors and also when you think of the WD Gold everything inside here is going to be the best you're going to have the best platters you're going to have the best motor you're going to have the best CPU driving it and yes these do have little CPUs driving them you get the best of everything in the Gold Drive and no expense is spared it literally is the best components they have and say for example if you looked on a consumer drive if you looked at the platter under a microscope and you compared it to the platter on this you would see that the absolute prime platters go in this so the tolerances in the manufacturing of these wd golds is a much higher standard than the consumer drives and they are calibrated much better this also has tler which is T-L-E-R, which is Time Limited Error Recovery. And basically that means in data centers, servers, NAS, it's not going to destroy your RAID because it knows that it only has a limited amount of time to recover error, whereas a consumer drive will just keep on trying to recover it and it will probably get dropped out of the RAID. Well, this won't happen with this sort of drive here. It's 7,200 RPM, as I said. This is 128 megabytes cache. There is a 256 megabyte cache model. I believe that's a 10 gigabyte model SATA 6 GBS interface and just using it it's very quiet it doesn't make much noise it doesn't vibrate much and initially when I was building my system I didn't want to put a hard drive in it because I have a NAS I don't see the need I can map a network drive from my NAS and have that on my build so I didn't see the need to put a hard drive in because I thought well I want my computer to be silent or as silent as possible and I didn't want a hard drive that's noisy in my system. But putting this in my system, this has changed my mind. It's actually pretty quiet, uses less power too than your typical hard drives and that's a great thing for data centers or even in your computer for that matter. And I believe the 8 terabyte model, even though it doesn't say it has helium on here, I think this is a helium drive. Not 100% sure on that. If anyone knows, let me know there in the comments. But from what I've read, the 8 terabyte up models are helium drives. That means in between the platters and so on, it has helium. So basically that means when these hard drives spin, less wear on the motor and less vibration. Whereas if they have just normal air in there, there's more drag, there's more strain on the motor and having helium in there just alleviates all those sort of issues there less drag means less power used less strain on the motor the drive head moves faster just having air in a hard drive is suboptimal performance compared to say putting helium in them it's just amazing that they get that sort of performance benefits just from putting another gas inside them and it's been a long time since i've been excited about a hard drive but this hard drive has really got me excited and i'll put it through its tests and let's have a look so let's have a look at the wd gold speeds and you can see here two of them put together in raid zero 415 megabytes per second read and 412 megabytes per second write now obviously raid zero is double the speed of just a single wd gold and that single wd gold is 210 megabytes per second read and 204 megabytes per second write and i know that having two WD Golds in RAID Zero is overkill and just so expensive. It's not funny. You could buy a Titan or a, or a good laptop for that price. But this thing's going to last forever. And if you're just using a single WD Gold, and especially the 8 terabyte model, if I told you it was an SSD, you wouldn't think otherwise because it's super fast. Anything over 200 megabytes per second read and write is fast. You've got to remember, Three or four years ago, that's the speed of the SSDs, the SATA-based SSDs. Back then, now they're around 500, the SATA-based ones, but you won't notice any difference. File transfer is different. You will notice some difference in file transfer speeds, but just generally opening apps and that, you're not going to notice much difference. And GTA 5, which takes 100 years to load, was around five seconds slower on a single WD gold compared to an ssd and that thing takes forever to load as you know and just normal apps i didn't notice any difference compared to an ssd loading i'm sure if you put them together side by side 
and you had a stopwatch, you would notice a second here or there, but generally speaking, it feels as fast as an SSD just using it. So my conclusion is, would you buy these? No, you're probably crazy to buy a WD Gold. It's way overkill. It's way overpriced for a normal consumer. But saying that, enthusiasts, they'll buy it. They'll just buy it because it's the best. Is there that much more advantages over the WDRE, the RAID Enterprise hard drive? This is rated for longer life and obviously it is a better hard drive, but the differences aren't that much as compared to say the WD Black. This is much better hard drive than the WD Black, but it costs a lot more. <laughs> Overall, my recommendations if you were buying the system, if you can afford it, get the WD RAID Enterprise drives. If you can't afford that, WD Black. And I don't recommend these for system builders, but if you've got a NAS and you've got really important data, or if you just want the best of the best, well, this is it and this is what you need so there you have it guys a hard drive that got me excited and turned my floppy into a solid state i'd really like to thank you guys for watching if you're new around here please subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think is this a crazy hard drive would you buy it um and what hard drives do you use let me know down there in the comments and until next time guys tally ho <laughs>